it was a high school art competition, and the judge took the time to write on the back of my entry, maybe you should consider a career in commercial art. I really wanted to work with a good design firm, be mentored, learn from for a few years before I decided what I would do. And I got a call from Herman Miller, and they said, we're building an internal capability. Would you like to be interviewed for a graphic design position? I learned about Herman Miller when I was at Cranbrook, and I said, I better at least have an interview. I had no idea that I would be here as long as I've, I've been. It just kind of happened. One reason I think I've been here for 41 years is that I do like our products. If you have to promote something, it's much easier to do it if you believe in it yourself. I get involved in a lot of different projects, and over the years that's involved poster work, catalog work, advertising work, a lot of print work, and now a lot of digital assets. I learned to screen print in Nigeria when I taught in the Peace Corps. And what I liked about it is it's very immediate. And when I came to Herman Miller, we have a company picnic, it's a, and it's an annual event. Hey Steve, would you do a poster for the picnic? And we, we screen printed 50 of them one night uh, down the basement. It became my personal project once a year. I think I'm driven by the problem that needs to be solved. That's what gives me the energy. Will I ever retire? I might slow down. I might have a different kind of relationship with Herman Miller. But no, there's something that keeps us going. Being a creative person, I mean, you need that newness of a, of a new problem. So if I retired, I mean, yeah, I've got some hobbies. I'd probably pick up my camera and continue my, my wildflower photography or, you know, help out in the barn some more. But uh, design, man, it's in my life.